All right, you guys know that I don't often wear bangs. Brand new style from Beltress. It's called Bella. I freaking love it. And it keeps getting better as I play with it. I think why I like it is because I can push it to the side and sort of incorporate it into the style. So the bangs on Bella are four inches. Tip for you, you could absolutely have your bangs trimmed on a wig. I get that question a lot. So my forehead is, is fairly short, especially if I'm lining up my lace to where my hairline would naturally be. So for me, four inches falls a little bit into my face. You could absolutely get your bangs trimmed so that they're more traditional if that's the way you like to wear them, or you can push them to the side and incorporate into the hair like I'm doing. I love that I can do both with this. Another thing I wanted to share with you is based off of a question that I got this morning saying, Erin, I'm new to wearing wigs, but I wear eyeglasses. Can I wear glasses with wigs? You absolutely can. So whether these are eyeglasses for sight or sunglasses, I mean, same thing, right? So let me show you where I have them. I like wearing mine over the ear tabs, but you could also place them underneath the ear tabs like that if that's more comfortable. I just personally find that A, it's more comfortable and B, I think it looks more natural when I put it just on top of the ear tab like that. All right, let's get back to Bella. Brand new style from Beltress's Lux Collection. You know, the one with all the bells and whistles, the 100% hand tied cap, their heat defiant synthetic fiber, which I absolutely, absolutely love. It is very fine. It feels super soft. It's heat stylable. And in my experience, they perform really, really well. As you can see, it's a long, beautifully layered style, okay? It is an average size cap. In my experience, the average caps in the Lux collection are a little bit generous, okay? So if you hover between an average and a large size cap, I would suggest that Beltress's Lux collection averages would likely fit you perfect, okay? So let me do a turn. Here is my right side. I love a long layered piece. It just feels so feminine. It's so pretty. And then here's the back. And because of that 100% hand tied cap, you're getting really beautiful hair movement. The other benefit as well is if you were to put it up like a half up, half down style, you're not seeing any wefting, of course, because wefting doesn't exist. If you're somebody that likes to wear the hair away from your face, having an extended lace front like this that's running it's running all the way around the ear tabs. Do you see that? So there's the ear tab and that lace is running all the way down and around the ear tab. So what that allows you to do is wear it away from your face with absolute confidence. The hairlines are really good in the Lux collection. However, some of all of these bells and whistles are what causes a slightly higher price point. So when you're shopping for wigs and you're thinking, okay, well, what drives a higher price point? Why is this wig more than this wig? Number one is hair fiber. Is it human hair? Is it synthetic fiber? And then number two would be the cap construction. Does it have all the bells and whistles like a lace front of a full monofilament top that really gives you parting flexibility to part it anywhere that you want? Also length, right? Longer wigs typically are a higher price point than a shorter wig. So when you're shopping for wigs, um, keep some of those things in mind. And what you need to do is identify what are the cap features that are most important to you. Okay, I'm gonna take Bella off because I've gotta show you the cap construction. If you've been here for a hot moment, you've seen me showing other wigs within Beltress's Lux collection, and I absolutely love these caps. They are super comfortable. So a full monofilament top, this allows us to part it anywhere within this space here, and you get that illusion of a natural parting space. And then the lace front, that runs all the way down the side of your face here and then around that ear tab that I had shown you here earlier and then 100% hand tied. So this type of a cap construction is not going to have any type of permatease. So it's gonna sit very close and very flush to your head. And then you've got an extended nape with bra strap adjusters. So you can adjust these adjusters based on your head circumference. I have Bella in the color Hazelnut Syrup. It's a beautiful color. However, in my opinion, you know what? You need to sort of wear this messily in this color 
along the top because if you make a perfect parting space, you start to see some of that stripiness. Now, maybe you love the stripiness and if you do, you will love hazelnut syrup. But if that's not your jam, Lux Collection comes in a really wide variety of really gorgeous colors. As you can tell, right, Bella is a really long piece. It's 23 inches. But one of the questions that I get a lot is, or comments, I guess, is, Erin, the wig looks shorter on me, or Erin, the wig looked longer on me than it did on you. So what's important to know is that your facial measurements versus my facial measurements and head measurements may make this wig look either shorter or longer on you than it does on me. So for reference, my face from hairline to chin is approximately seven inches. My neck is three and a half and I have a 22 inch circumference head. These bangs here are four inches. Eggs range between seven and a half and 16 and a half. So you've got a good amount of layers all throughout the sides, which I think is creating, you know, some of that really beautiful natural mu movement, which I really love. And then the nape, which is measured from the nape down, go figure, is 15 inches. You'll have to let me know, what do you think about Beltress's Bella? I think it's a winner. I think it's absolutely beautiful. I did forget to touch on density. I would say that this piece is medium to light density. I would otherwise say light density if it wasn't so long. So when I'm looking at density, I'm looking at the amount of total hair that's in there. Does it sit flush? Does it feel flat to my head as far, and flush to my head as far as feeling supernatural? And this piece has hit it on the mark, in my opinion. So if you're interested in Bella, head to wigsbypattiespearls.com. Be sure to use my discount code Erin, E-R-Y-N-N 30 to save. Let me know what you think below.